Come here, Momo. Oh, what do you want me to say? We got in a fight about the wedding and I was wrong. And I apologize and I think you should marry somebody else. What am I supposed to say? I'm giving away $500 every single Vlogmas video and today's winner is in Yell! Oh my god, yes, Slay, you better do your 12 3 30 while watching my videos. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment, and follow me and 12 3 30. I was gonna film something else. Honestly, I don't know if this was a good idea, but I feel like I was onto something. But it felt like the more that I kept explaining it, I like became less sure if it was a good idea or not. But there's this like viral chicken and some influencer came up with it. I should probably insert it because I feel bad that I don't know her name. But this influencer came up with this chicken and she calls it the engagement chicken because it's apparently so good that she made it for her man so many times and he proposed. So then she like posted this recipe for this chicken and then girls started making it for their mans and it was so good that they all like proposed. So she calls it the engagement chicken. It like went viral on TikTok and whatever. So we were gonna do that video idea today until we got in a fight about the wedding. And um, yeah, then we, I cried and now we're here. And now we're ordering Postmates and no one's eating chicken. No chicken. No engagement chicken needed. I'm already f***ing engaged. F*** the chicken. Do we want Popeyes? Uh, Popeyes? I mean, That's crazy. We never get that. It's so good though. Indian Bistro? If we do Indian, I'm down for that one that we like. The OG Indian. He did a bad? He did a bald. We could do Indian. But let me read you. What do you mean we could do Indian? You just said let's do it. No. It's Crumble cookies? If we want to throw up. Well, let me go to popular near you. Dairy Queen, Ray's Pizza, McDonald's, Jack in the Box. Girl, what? I clicked popular near you. It's not my fault our neighbors don't have good taste. Five guys. Honestly, a fried chicken sandwich right now would slap. I'm like so sad after our fight that I feel like a double cheeseburger to the face would like really hit. Do you forgive me? Yeah, of course. What the hell? We're getting married. Do you still want to marry me? Yeah. Why'd your voice go up? You're like, yeah. Yeah, this is true. I don't know. Girl, this isn't the our first rodeo, you know true. what I'm saying? Miss Malicious Girl. Camera lights on, the studio's in session. Tika Shack looks great. Tika Shack looks fire. Yeah, what the fuck? Come here. Mm, whoa. Girl, what? He's an Olympian. Like, did you see that? For real. Why don't we give them some wisdom? How do you how do you get out of a fight? What's the takeaway? How do we get out of a fight? What's the takeaway? Like, I don't know. Empathy, understanding. Putting each other in each other's shoes. Yeah. I feel like we're just friends. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Just friends. Shut up. What we did five seconds ago was not friendly, dude. Why am I like so ridiculously down for five guys? Let me let me keep looking. Oh, but um, back to the fight. I mean, if you've been with someone for that long, we're just down for each other. I don't know what to say. We're kind of in it for the long run. Like, what are you gonna do? I was not looking at things from the right perspective. And like, now he broke it down for me and I realized like, wow, I was not looking at things from the right place at all. I was looking at things from a place of like, no, but in theory, like this is the way things should go. But like, this is real life. And I was like, not looking at things from the right perspective. Yo, this never happens. Like, this is a once in a lifetime thing. Like, what, me admitting that I'm yeah. wrong? Really? I'm usually in the chair. <laughs> You're usually doing like, the confessional on the camera. Yeah. Like, I was wrong. I'm You've so never wrong. admitted to be wrong on YouTube.com. I mean, not on Roll YouTube. the tape. But yeah, sometimes this happens. We push through it, we take it on the chin, we keep it moving. And here we are. Between oh. Five Guys and Indian, I think. Indian yeah. low key. Ugh. Butter marsala. Mmm! Creamy, buttery marsala, slowly simmered with onion, garlic, and spices! You know what the funniest thing is? What? The whole fight, we're like ordering food throughout it. Like, it's the funniest thing. We need to order this fast. Too. Oh my god, yeah. What time is it? 9 It's like <gasps> the danger zone. In LA, you could order some like Nigerian food at 3 in the morning. If and it'll want. come, no problem. Literally, here, it's like the only thing after 9 p.m. is McDonald's. Here's the thing about weddings that I'm starting to realize is that it's, it's a whole lot of planning. There's a whole lot of people. There's a whole lot of well, thoughts and opinions. There's a whole lot of stress. There's a whole lot of emotions. Honestly, I'm just so jealous of Lauren for having a fiance like <laughs> myself. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
I almost just messed up our entire dinner. We did this at another Indian place too. Like I accidentally selected like hot. Indian hot? Is, is the hottest. Is not the same as regular hot. Indian hot? Yeah. That's hot. That will come for your neck. Three bites in, you're sweating. And you're breathing like this. <gasps> Remember yeah. the last time we ordered from that other spot? That was so spicy, bro. We I, were both like... <gasps> I was trying to hold it down. And I think that was my mistake. So I was trying to act like it wasn't spicy. It was your mistake. Everybody. Yeah, it was so and spicy. Like, it's I, not bad. It's not bad. And then was, you were like literally sweating. I was trying to gaslight you. No, you were I, I was literally like, no, no, that's not true, babe. It's not <laughs> spicy. Just so you can try to not feel it. That's right. Skincare. I'm going to wash off the makeup and I cry. Yo, I don't really like dig hair masks that much. Like sometimes I'll run across one that I enjoy. But this one, I, I do have to give it up to them because they ate that. This L'Oreal Professional Hair Mask. I don't know what sorcery they put into this. When I tell you, I'll use it on my hair and then... Like after I'll be like, what? I'm like I'm literally astounded by how soft my hair is. I'm gonna wash off my makeup. I did a full beat for no reason. I love that for me. For those of you who've watched Love is Blind season three. We watched it, it was so entertaining. I feel like we held off cause we're like, no, we're not gonna watch it. I had seen people talk about it on Twitter. Henny had seen people talk about it on TikTok. And finally we're like, all right, let's watch it. I got the ick so bad with Cole specifically. Like when I tell you that I would watch it and I would be screaming at the TV like, Ew! Oh my god, I don't know. Like, what's the girl that we love? That was like, he's a boy. Alexa. Alexa. Yeah, there's something about like that personality, like the goofy guy, but to like the extent where like he acts like a 12 year old. Okay, skincare tonight. Okay, so I used this randomly on a whim on the last vlog and I loved it. Tatcha the Camellia cleansing oil. And when I went to link it, I remember it not being crazy expensive. Do you remember how much this? Cleanser is that we linked. I remember it not being like that one. Yeah, it's like sixty dollars. I don't believe you. Tatcha Camellia cleansing oil. Fifty. Fifty dollars. Okay, Tatcha's like bougie. You know what I've been doing so much of recently? And it's been rocking my world. And I think I'm gonna dabble in it tonight. Maybe I'll fill it. Online shopping, putting a ton of things in the cart and not buying a single thing. Like you know when you are online shopping, just not online shopping, and you forget that you ordered it, and then it shows up in like three days, and you open it, and you're like, why would I do this? I don't need this. I don't want this. Online shopping and filling a cart will honestly fill the same void, and you don't even have to check out of it. I've been doing a lot of that. I'm gonna go in with this Honest Beauty 3-in-1 Detox Mud Mask. I like a face mask with color to it. I don't know. I have a bunch of cute face masks that are colorless or like cream and like look like a moisturizer and it does not supply me with the same amount of enjoyment as one with colors. And I really feel like I'm at the spa. You know what I mean? Like it's just more dramatic. Half the time I feel like I put on the face mask for the dramatic effect. Do you want to watch something? Do you want to hang out? Do you want to do anything? I have these crusty, dusty Uggs that are, like, they're gross. Like, that literally looks, like, nasty. And I was thinking about getting the black ones, but I feel like the shoes that look cute and dainty are light colored. You know, like, if I got a pair of black Uggs, I just might look like the Crypt Keeper. The, the what? The Crypt Keeper. What's Crypt? Remember the Freaky Friday scene where they switch bodies and she goes, Oh, I look like the Crypt Keeper! No. That's actually a great fucking I'm impressed by me. Does anyone know what the Crypt Keeper is? Google it. Okay, can you actually keep it real with me? Because, like, I don't even know where I stand on this. I mean, I do, but... I do. So, I've talked about this before, but this YouTuber that I watch, her name is Lainey Ozark, and in her opinion, and she seems like a morally sound queen, in her opinion, fur is only okay if it's thrifted. Cause like, you know, the animal is already gone and faux fur is really bad for the environment. I looked it up, honey, it is true. Faux, faux, faux fur is horrible for the environment. So anyways, I was rocking this bag recently and my friend was like, that's rabbit. And I'm like, it's rabbit? She's like, yeah, it's rabbit. I feel it. This is? Yeah, I feel it. And that was thrifted, huh? It was thrifted. Wow. But like, where do you stand on that? Real fur is okay if it's thrifted because you're not supporting it. Cause like, it just ended up in the thrift store, right? I'm just huge into thrifting. So overall, I'm in the green. Because the quality of stuff isn't even good anymore. That is the real tea. So what's the point? Like people- Clothes that are made these days fall apart in three washes. It's so annoying. It's like that Amazon stuff where like when you buy a little $12 thing on Amazon, like that thing was not made to be kept for years. No, even furniture. <laughs> is that our food? What's that? Postmates is some kid shit. Every time I'm, I'm honestly, 
I feel guilty when we order Postmates. I'm not going to lie. But, like, I don't feel terribly guilty, but I'm like, you know. We do it, like, once a week. Yeah, we're really not bad with it. People.